This is just the latest example of Kamala Harris's calculated pandering and politicking for votes. Uh, we have an exclusive up on the site which details how in 2003, uh, Vice Presidential pick Kamala Harris adopted a Chinese name, uh, Hei Jin Li, forgive my pronunciation on that, but she adopted that name with the sole purpose of attempting to win votes from the Chinese community. So Chinese language media covered the story rather extensively, uh, and a direct quote from one of the sites is that quote, at the time, Hei Jin Li talked to her about the strategy of winning Chinese votes. She suggested that Hei Jin Li choose a unified Chinese name that would be easier for Chinese voters to remember. Hei Jin Li, which is Kamala Harris, thought this was a good suggestion. And the individual that she was talking to was named Su Rong Li, and the two of them had met. They're both attorneys in the Bay Area. But what's interesting is that Kamala Harris was actually the first candidate in the entire state of California, the woke bastion of California, to adopt this name, to, to really start a trend, inaugurate this trend, whereby candidates who are not Chinese by birth adopt a name such as Hei Jin Lee, and that is then used on the ballot, although in 2019, California actually passed legislation to outlaw the practice.